Grace Bless, and today I'm going to be turning 10 Harry Potter characters into animals. I will be taking each of the characters one by one and putting them into my art robot, Craig. And based on the character's attributes, he will decide what kind of animal they will be. And lastly, Craig will send a message to the computer as to why he chose that animal for that character. Starting off with Neville Longbottom. Okay, Craig, turn Neville into an animal. Okay, so this is Neville Longbottom as a tortoise. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he would be a tortoise. I think he'd be like a mouse or like, I don't know, a guinea pig or something. I don't think he'd be a tortoise, honestly. But maybe he could be a tortoise, maybe, by the attributes. They kind of match. Like, his attributes are resilience. Neville's growth and perseverance are similar to a tortoise's long life and endurance. Steadfast. His unwavering loyalty and determination mirror a tortoise's steadfast nature. Unassuming. Often underestimated, tortoises and Neville both reveal hidden strengths. Tortoises love eating plants and Neville loves herbology, so I guess there is kind of like a similarity there. But this picture is, it's, tortoises are adorable. So I honestly think he could become a tortoise. So it's not bad. Number two is Professor McGonagall. Okay, Craig, turn Professor McGonagall into an animal. Professor McGonagall as an eagle. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think she'd be a cat, not an eagle. I guess she could be an eagle. Um, I, the attributes do, like, they are similar to Professor McGonagall, and her three attributes are wise, McGonagall's intelligence, and experience are like an eagle's keen vision. Dignified, her composed and regal bearing is reminiscent of an eagle's majesty. Protective, she fiercely defends her students, much like an eagle protects its nest. So I guess she could be an eagle, but honestly, I think, I think it's just, I think she should be a cat. Number three is Voldemort. Okay, Craig, turn Voldemort into an animal. This one is definitely good for Voldemort because he has a pet snake, Nagini. And so I think that this one actually looks like really good. That looks like Lord Voldemort. I feel like that's what he would look like if he turned into a snake. And his three attributes are cunning. Voldemort's strategic mind and deceptive nature are akin to a snake's traits. Dangerous. His lethal and feared presence mirrors a venomous snake. Regenerative, his ability to return and regain power similar to a snake shedding its skin. So I honestly think this one's really good and I like that one. I like the way it like kind of like the attributes work with the picture and his like personality. I like that. Next is Hagrid. Okay, Craig, turn Hagrid into an animal. I think this one is like really accurate. Hagrid would be a bear. He'd be like such a bear. And his three main attributes are gentle. Despite his intimidating size, Hagrid's kind heart mirrors a bear's gentle side. Protective. Hagrid's instinct to, to protect his friends and creatures aligns with the bear's nature. Strong. His immense physical strength is comparable to that of bear. I look at his attributes and I look at the picture and I think they all align really well. I think Hagrid would be a bear. Next is Sirius Black. Okay, Craig, turn Sirius Black into an animal. This one works really, really well with Sirius Black because when he's an animungus, he turns into a wolf already. And so I like this one. And his three main attributes are loyal. Sirius's loyalty to his friends and godson, Harry, is unwavering, much like a wolf to its pack. Brave, he faces danger without hesitation, akin a wolf's bravery. Independent, though part of a pack, wolves are also capable of surviving on their own. That, that looks like him when he turns into a wolf. I feel like Sirius Black compared to his attributes and a wolf's attributes, I feel like they align very well and that 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 is what he would look like if he turned into a wolf. Next is Draco Malfoy. Okay, Craig, turn Draco Malfoy into an animal. Okay, so I have a little problem with this one. In I feel like he would be, I don't know, maybe it's just because of the fourth movie when he gets turned into a ferret, but I don't know, would he be a ferret instead of a fox? I mean, the fox, it looks like him. Maybe he would be a fox, maybe. And his three main attributes are cunning. Draco's sly and strategic behavior is similar to a fox's reputation. Ambitious, his drive to prove himself and succeed reflects a fox's determination. Adaptable. Draco's ability to navigate complex situations aligns with a fox's adaptability. I don't know, there's just something not right about Draco being a fox. I mean, the attributes kind of align, but I feel like he would be a ferret because he's not a good character. Next is Professor Snape. Okay, Craig, turn Snape into an animal. 
I didn't think I would like want Snape to be a bat, but honestly, I feel like he would be a bat. I feel like him and bats kind of just, I feel like they align. That's, and that's like, I didn't think that that would, like, that's weird. I didn't think that that would happen. And his three main attributes are mysterious. Snape's secretive and enigmatic persona aligns with a bat's nocturnal nature. Misunderstood, often seen as a negative light, bats are actually beneficial similar to Snape's true intentions. Loyal, despite appearances, Snape's loyalty to certain causes and individuals is unwavering. I mean, honestly, they do. I feel like Snape would be a bat. He would be a bat. Like Next is Albus Dumbledore. Okay, Craig, turn Albus Dumbledore into an animal. Okay, Albus Dumbledore as a phoenix. Honestly, I feel like he wouldn't be a phoenix. He would be like, like, honestly, he would be an owl. I feel like he would be an owl. Do you feel me? I, I can see him being an owl. His three attributes are wise. Dumbledore's profound wisdom matches the legendary knowledge of a phoenix. Resilient, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Dumbledore overcomes great adversity. Mysterious, the enigmatic and powerful nature of a phoenix mirrors Dumbledore's aura. Um, but I guess the attributes do align, sort of, but it, I feel like he would, it would look more like him if he was an owl. Next is Ron Weasley. Okay, Craig, turn Ron Weasley into an animal. I feel like he would be a, a, like a dog. I feel like he would be like a red-haired dog. I don't think he would be a golden retriever. I feel like he would be like a some type of pug or like, I don't know, do you feel me? I mean, I guess, I do think he would be a dog, okay? And his three main attributes are loyal. Ron's unwavering support for his friends mirrors a dog's loyalty. Friendly, his warm and approachable nature makes him beloved by many. Protective, Ron often acts to safeguard those he cares about, similar to a dog's instinct. Like, the attributes align, but I don't think he would be a golden retriever. I think he'd be like a pug or something. Next up is Hermione Granger. Okay, Craig, turn Hermione Granger into an animal. I, I think she would be a cat. I don't know. Like, is that just me? You have to tell me if you agree with me here because I feel like she would be a cat or something. Her three main attributes are wise. Hermione's vast intelligence is akin to an owl's symbolism of wisdom. Perspective. She has a keen sense of understanding and insight. Independent. Hermione is self-reliant and strong-willed, much like an owl hunting alone. This looks good at all. Like, she's smart and I feel like owls are smart, but like, I feel like a cat is also smart and sly like that too, you know? Last up is Harry Potter. Okay, Craig, turn Harry Potter into an animal. I feel like he would be like a lion. Like, I love how he put the scar on there too. That's cool. I think he would be a lion. Like, I feel like like the Gryffindor animal is a lion and I feel like he's like this, like the character of Gryffindor. And so I feel like he would be a lion. Like, and I love how Craig added like the green eyes in there because like, in the movies, they didn't put that in there, and that was annoying. And his three main attributes are brave. Harry constantly shows courage, facing dangerous situations head on. Loyal, he values his friends and is willing to sacrifice for them. Noble, Harry's sense of justice and doing what is right aligns with the lion's regal nature. But Craig should have probably made him a little skinnier because, you know, Harry Potter's skinny.